Greetings from PBCB. We'd like to introduce a new feature, the option to create a new feed out of data from Google Analytics. In PBCB, such data feeds allow you to advertise products or categories that have real value to you, i.e. depending on the number of orders, sales or profit. Let's take a look at how you can create this data feed and what to watch out for. Go to the Data Feed tab and click Create a New Data Feed. There's now an option to create a feed out of data from Google Analytics. Name the data feed, link PPCB to a Google Analytics account and simply pick the appropriate data you'd like to work with in your data feed. Now let's go through some other settings that are necessary for creating a data feed. It's crucial that you set a scope and age of the data, i.e. the relevant period when your data is considered to be up to date. You can choose a predefined period, for example the last 30 days, or enter a custom scope. Another box you might have noticed is the filters. If you'd like your data feed to include a full data scope, leave the box empty. But if you want to import only data from a certain location or sources on traffic, this is what the filter box is for. You can read about ways to enter a filter in Google Help linked here. Or take a look at this simple screenshot which contains the most important entry types. Dimensions and metrics are another important aspect. By selecting certain dimensions and metrics, you decide which data will be a part of your new data feed. Meaning, you need to have thought about what kind of data feed you're creating. One with information on products, landing page, or categories. Caution! You can only combine those metrics and dimensions which are feasibly available in Google Analytics. Otherwise, no data feed is generated. So, if you'd like to download data on your products, the product number or SKU will be your dimension. You can also add another dimension, namely the name of the product or category. The metrics you can pair off with this dimension include revenue, number of transactions, number of items sold, or price of the product. If you pair off metrics and dimensions which are available in Google Analytics, the data feed preview will show the first data for you to check. All that's left to do now is save the data feed. And how should you work with it next? Use the feed linking feature in PPCB to link it to your current product feed. Caution! Your product feed should also contain items which aren't currently in stock. Otherwise, you won't be able to link GA data to them.